and you're standing there and you got to take off, you'll slip. So concrete is basically like ice and, and deer don't like it. Cattle don't even like it to that degree because they don't have the traction. But, but, but it is what it is and wildlife will benefit from it, but they would prefer to go over there where everything's cool because if you're a fawn and you're sitting there going to drink, I can't see around this trough. Is there a bobcat over there by that wee satch? I don't know. Now I'm nervous because I can't see around it like I could see over there. So I put my head down now, I can't see anything. I can see behind me, I see what's coming up here. Now I can't see anything around this trough. So guess what? I'm going to drink and I'm going to stop and I'm going to look around. I'm not drinking all I can get or all I want. I'm going to drink and I'm going to look around because I can't see around this thing. Something can come around here so quick and be on me and then I slip on this concrete because it's like ice. I could stumble and fall. And, and so they're, they're going to be nervous around a concrete structure like this because it, it, it puts their head in a bucket from a visibility perspective. And all you got to do is get on your knees and, and bend down and you look around and you realize, I can't see crap. So you are, by defensive mechanism, you're going to be nervous. Unlike over there. Over there you can put your head down and still have panoramic view. Right here you put your head down and you're looking in a bucket and so you'll be nervous. So you'll just drink one time, step back, you're already nervous because you're on concrete. So the animals that visit these concrete sites aren't going to be as effective. Their stress levels are going to be much higher than the animals over there. Now the, the island out here over by this float is perfect because some animals they get in there like a bird and they can't get out because now their wings are wet, they're heavy, you know, they, they fly because of aerodynamics and light weightness. When they get wet, flying's out of the question. So they may could float over there. Maybe the wind will blow them. They can float onto that island and maybe he can got the strength to climb up on it and sit there long enough and dry out before the hawk or the owl or the caracara or the gray fox or the bobcat or the, you know, before something eats him, he may can stand there and dry out and then fly off and he won't come back here because he said, whew, that's a bad experience. But he may have an opportunity to get out, get dry and fly off and real, you know, real hard lesson learned. So when you do have a big water trough like this, always put something in it. A two by eight, a two by 12, a piece of lumber, a piece of pipe even, lay it across diagonally in the, in the water so that there's like a ramp to get out of. You know, road runners will fly. You, everybody's found dead road runners in these things. You know, and, and birds have avian cholera, avian influenza. Birds carry a lot of diseases. And, and when a dead bird gets in a water trough, guess what? The whole water trough becomes a dead bird. And so if this is the only water trough within miles around, we all have to drink dead bird juice. And, and, and if you're a pregnant doe fixing to have babies, last thing you need to be doing is drinking dead bird juice. You know, it just doesn't make sense. Or if you're a fawn that comes up here and your first drink of water is dead bird juice, doesn't make sense, you know. So, so keeping the water trough clean is important. And he's got a water trough over by the, all the, you need to look at this trough and then take them by that one over by the, the deer pens. He, they just clean some water troughs and this is, this is not a clean trough, but the ones they did over there are spotless. I'll drink out of that one over there. It's beautiful. But, but keeping a clean water trough is important, mainly for your small, your weak, your injured, your pregnant type animals, because drinking dead bird juice, not a good thing. So road runners, squirrels. Here is a good thing. You adjust that float just like you did. You see it's right up to the top. So a quail or a dove or a squirrel or a road runner, he stands here and he can bend down and touch the water without having to be inverted and, and literally gravity taking over and him falling headlong in. So you adjust your float so it is up to the top. And this is a very good thing. That's, that's, that's what a good thing is here. He made the best of the situation. So this is not ideal like that is but he fixed it the best way he could. He doesn't want to tear up the concrete and all that. That doesn't make financial sense. It is what it is, so we'll just make it do best. Now, if you wanted to fix it permanently, haul in some dirt. You got this concrete footing all the way around it, go get you a layer of dirt and, and, and outline this thing in dirt. And that will help those animals get traction so that when Joe Bobcat comes around the corner, they have traction and they have now a chance to get away. But, you bring it up. Six, six inches. It don't have to be. Just cover up the concrete. Just cover up the concrete. Come up about six inches. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to just just cover up the concrete. So so when somebody's on this concrete, they have the traction that they need to make that initial first cut and burst of energy to 
make a getaway because if they stumble game's over you know it's that first step of whether you're a running back or blocking it's that first instant step if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't there's no recovery on the third step because he's got you yeah, game's over by then so adding dirt around here John would be perfect so on, on a trough you want to raise your water level just like he did here you want to have something in it to give an animal that does fall in a way to get out get dry regroup get your breath and then bail out because that that's the, the series of it they're gonna panic when they fall in there when a mouse falls in there he's gonna panic and he's gonna swim he's gonna swim he maybe not can get out on the edge but he can get out over there and he can sit there and rest and recoup and realize you know if I get a running start I think I can jump out because he's desperate now and so they can do that so keeping dead animals out of your pond, out of your your uh, water trough priority number one